looking to stretch my calf, okay? And I don't want to cause damage to my foot by putting my foot up against the wall and pushing down and getting this whole thing, right? I don't want to use a strap and pull back. And we will have an article on that coming soon. Um, at the same time, I don't have the form down for putting my hands up on the wall, foot, feet forward, or one foot forward, one foot back, trying to get the stretch that way. That form's not down. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a slant board, right? I don't want to spend over $100 on that. Um, at the same time, I don't want to get an OPTP slant because that's like 20 bucks, uh, and it's not as portable because uh, it's a nice size to it. So what's the solution? A simple yoga block will do the trick for you. All you're going to do is, first of all, it's $5, fantastic. You can take a saw, if you don't have a saw, an exacto knife will do the trick as well. Get the angle that you're looking for, okay, so maybe using a protractor might be a little better for you here, but, uh, or a Ruben. And from there, all you're going to do is make one strong cut across, pretend I just did that, and there you go. You have one slant, you have another size slant, and the great thing about it is you can create a couple different slants. So if you want to take it in your gym bag, if you have one or two in the gym bag, if you want to have um, one that you leave at home, one you leave at the office, wherever you're going to leave them, four out of one uh, yoga block. So we'll have a video on some of these different things, but just to give you a demonstration, coming up, we're going to turn it in, put the foot up, push down on the heel, push up on the toe. That's a fantastic little snipe with that.